Good day everybody, it is Salinka. I realized that I have not done a tutorial for you guys in like probably a week, but I haven't done one in so long for me. Um, so I wanted to do a tutorial on something that has been highly complimented on and uh, requested by a, a few of my subscribers. So I hope you enjoy this look. This is pretty much my natural eye makeup with a pop of color. Um, I'm going to show you every detail of what products that I use in this video with my fantastic narration abilities. I do want to point out I am wearing a different foundation today. Um, I recorded a first impressions video uh, that might be going up after this one and it was the first impressions on the Maybelline Velvet foundation. That is what I am wearing today. In the video you are not going to see me put on my foundation base. Um, because I already did. So if you are interested in how I got this look and what products that I use, then make sure to just keep watching. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. I've already primed my face using three different products, but we're just going to dive right into the eyelids. I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. The first color I'm diving into is Almond Truffle. I'm going to use this as just kind of a natural base for the corner of my eye to help blend out the colors. next color I'm going to be using is Mocha and I'm going to put this shade in the outer and inner corners of my eyes to help blend in that transition. And I am in love with this next shade. I'm using Molasses Chip and this is going to be the main color on my eyelid. I'm just going to pat this color on to add that natural shimmer. It is beautiful. So pigmented. I love this palette. Now for the eyeliner I'm using Mika Beauty Cosmetics. This is a black gel eyeliner and I'm just using my e.l.f. eyeliner brush. I'm going to be creating a pretty dramatic wing because I do have hooded eyelids so I can't do the vintage style wing. I do have to do more of a Kelly Osbourne style wing if you will. Just going straight out meeting to the end of the eyebrow. I'm just going to fill the wing in and clean it up off camera. Now I'm taking that same gel eyeliner and doing a tight line on the bottom lid. Going back to my Bon Bon's palette, I'm grabbing satin sheets and I'm going to use this on the brow bone to help blend out the almond truffle. It helps take away some harsh edges of your eyeshadow. The blush I'll be adding is NYX Amber color. This blush is very pigmented. I didn't want to put too much on. I just want a faint brushing over the cheeks. Now to add the pop of color, I'm grabbing my Morphe 12P palette and I'm going to use this vibrant 
purple using my Urban Decay brush that came with my Vice 4 palette. Whew! This is a very vibrant color, so you just want to dab a little bit. And I'm adding that to the bottom inner corner of my eye just to add that pop. Next out of the same palette, I'm grabbing a, a dabble of the black and we're going to use that to shadow out the outer corners of the bottom eyelid. And once I put this on the bottom eyelid, I'm going to grab my Morphe blending brush I'm just gonna blend those to smoke it out a little bit better. There ain't no party like a highlight party. Now I'm about to blind you with my highlighting skills. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminizer Powder, and this is in So Hollywood. Adding a curl to my lashes, I'm using Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lash Curl Mascara. I love this stuff. I think I got it in a BoxyCharm, I'm not quite sure, but it does instantly curl your lashes. And with this natural look, I don't want to use falsies. I think natural looks look better with natural eyelashes. Yay! What better way to add a pop of color than with using ColourPop's Lippy Stick in Flawless. And this lipstick is flawless. I wanted to use this color to help bring out the purple in the corners of my eyes. Girl, this was only $5 on ColourPop's website and the color lasts all day. So much for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know by hitting a big old like if you want to see different looks or different tutorials or anything from me definitely leave a comment down below and I will try my hardest to do that for you also if you're not yet subscribed make sure you do so on your way out just want to remind you that you can follow me on all thy social medias Instagram Twitter and snapchat I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Yeah.